Well, hi there, everybody. It's your boy, Josh Mooney. We got some complaints last time from, you know, one of the eight people who watches this show that the sound wasn't good. So I've moved the mic up a little bit. And it's a good thing that I did because tonight we're going to be looking at some more IPAs. I have all sorts of words like pine and floral and nice and, and phrenolic. phrenolic worked up and, uh, uh, hey, where's the music? Where'd the music go? I don't know. Okay. Um, what happened? I. Oh no. It doesn't smell like IPA anymore. It smells like. Like old, inadequate stuff from the back of the fridge. Oh my god. I feel like my hipster palette is gonna be useless tonight because. Oh no! The light's fading! No! It must be another bottle terror! If it's any indication by the YouTube views, you don't like watching me try to not repeat myself when describing a bunch of IPAs. You like watching me suffer through terrible, awful beers that I hate, or beer-like products that I also hate. So tonight, I've got the two kings of basic on this wobbly ass table and this mallet which I kind of want to hit these with we've got this way too much Miller Lite for me to be able to f f tolerate and we've got a nice shitty Pilsner to go with it Justin really likes this um, mm -hmm. it's because he's wrong alright um, we're gonna have to start with one of these I'm gonna start with the Bud Light who hasn't had Bud Light Bud Light is what I like to call the American nihilism of beers. It's a beer that tastes like nothing and is inoffensive because it doesn't try. Um, it, it consists of rice and water and lack of effort and um, that, that, you know that color that you see when you walk by someone's house and you see some sad person looking at some shitty news program late at night? Do any of you see that color? They, they actually take that color and they put that into this beer. Unfortunately, none of the blue's preserved. It just looks like a pale yellow piece of garbage. Do we have a pour glass here? Do we have no. a pour glass here? No, we don't. It's, All right. it's, it's like malt liquor. Right? Well, here we go. I'm going to pour some into my hand and I'm going to drink it. Let's do that. Mmm, did you see that pour? Did that look good? Mm. You're just plain gross. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Because this beer is gross. I hate this beer. It is. It's... Oh, God. All right. Ready? Let's let's just do it. Look, okay. Uh, aside, of terms of horrible things I've drunk in, this, this is not anywhere close to the worst. It just tastes like mildly sweetened water that somebody left rice in. In fact, if you want to make your own Bud Light flavored water at home, follow these three three fun ingredients. <laughs> I can't count. This beer's making me dumber. Mm, hang on, let me drink some more and get even dumber. Mm, I can't. I can't remember how to subtract anymore. Uh, there goes my college degree. Mm, yeah, I don't even care. No, it's. Um, just take some water and add some rice. You've got this beer. It uh, has a mildly sweet aftertaste. I think probably one of the best descriptions I've heard of it is that feeling you get after you get a nice filling in your mouth. Um, I have some fillings that I've gotten because I'm Polish and Polish people have crappy teeth. This is this is true. This is real. I totally believe that. And uh, the uh, it, it definitely is true. It is it, that nice aftertaste you get is very much like that that sort of sweet ground up enamel taste that you get in the back of your head um, a lot of people like this beer no they don't nobody actually likes this beer except for Justin because he's weird people just drink this beer to get drunk and that's fine that's fine I respect that it's drinking something bad to get drunk whatever I whatever but but that was yeah 
One star, all right? One star. That's what we're giving it. We're giving it one star. That's That beer gets a star. Now we're going to check out Miller Lite. Miller Lite is a fine Pilsner beer. See that? It says fine Pilsner beer. This can of Miller Lite is really big. It could beat the shit out of this Bud Light can. This Bud Light clan is like bantamweight. This is like heavyweight. Let's just open it. I'm not gonna pour it in my hand again. I that that was a spur of the moment thing that I did there. Mmm. Well, we get a good whiff of uh, very uh, stale hay from that um, stale hay that has uh, just been through a winter storm. It's hay that has collected a lot of horse piss uh, and uh, actually then been wrung out into a can called Miller Lite. Let's uh let's do this one. This will be this will be good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Now here's the great part about Miller Lite. At first, I want to flip this table. Anyway, at first you're going to think, "Wow, this tastes like a normal normal crappy tasteless lifeless pilsner like this little fella right here." But then you really you'd be wrong. Because what follows is an absolute symphony of terrible, disappointing, nasty flavors. You start off and you go right into this, like, it starts as grass, I guess? I could. It starts as grass and then it goes into this sickly, awful, like, catty sweetness that follows into the... That's a fun noise to have there. That... I like that. The sickly, disgusting, sweet taste that is just, it's the perfect transition into something that's crisp, into something that's unbearable. You can feel it on the sides of your tongue. It's, oh, well, I'm going to drink a little bit more. Mmm, yeah. Another good thing that I like to note about this beer is how um, the transition in it is really abrupt and awful. Um, you'll get that nice, like almost like pale water lifelessness to it. Um, I don't mean any disrespect to water by saying that, by the way. And then it's going to follow up with these really awful, badly burned wheat and barley notes. It's, uh, it's, uh, wow. Um, and you'll feel that on the back of your mouth. You know that disgusting sweetness? You'll feel that on the sides of your tongue. I don't know how the tongue scientifically works. I've looked it up before, but I forget. I know that bitter comes on the back of your mouth. So I guess that the bitter taste of this beer, you will feel briefly on the back of your mouth. The only nice thing I have to say about this beer is that its flavor doesn't linger that long. Because um, it would really be unbearable if it did. It is just an absolute dreadful mess um it's uh technically i suppose i could say it tries harder than the bud light but you know it if the bud light is someone who lives in like its mom's basement until it's 50 years old and then dies or uh i don't know bud light is the kind of person who does that and like he puts effort into stuff but the stuff he puts effort into is like world of warcraft grind grinding and like weaving hentai pillows or something there we go i think that that's a fair it's description a, it's called a waifu pillow i how do you know that i know things yeah i that should tell you everything you need to know about bud light drinkers right there there you go anyway fuck you <laughs> <laughs> yeah so miller light overall um look I'm aware some people are capable of drinking this beer and having a good time. If you're one of those people, I have no animosity towards you, but I do have animosity towards this beer. I give it one half of one star. I I do. I guess the only reason I don't rank it higher is it doesn't stick around that long. It lets me out of the basement. It's not a not like a serial killer rapist beer. I'm not drinking another sip of this though. Fuck this beer. So that'll conclude tonight's bottle of terror. I'm not touching either of these. So, okay, booze shooters. Justin can have his Bud Light. 
And I'll, I'll do the words this time. Remember, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe and Twitter and Facebook, all that you like. And tell us we're wrong. Yes, tell us comments. we're wrong. Tell us, tell us that this, that, that, that I'm totally wrong and that Miller Lite is the best beer ever. And just know, all I've got to say to that is, if the only restaurant you've ever eaten at is Arby's and you think Arby's is the best ever, that doesn't mean that you're right. It means that you like Arby's. I won't dispute you there, but it does not mean that you're right. Good night. <laughs> Enjoy Arby's. <laughs>